hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today in this video we are going to learn about azure bpn gateway fundamentals in which there are four topics we are going to cover the first one is what is vpn gateways and uh, types of vpns uh, apart from this we have policy based vpn and root based vpn i hope this video will be informative because these are the very very important things okay and uh, uh, subject so i would suggest you to make a note guys okay don't take things slightly or very lightly it is up to you my job is to just tell you okay so what we are going to see is azure vpn gateway fundamentals so first of all let me tell you a few things i will take one highlighter so guys vpns use an encrypted tunnel okay so for example this is your uh, cloud and this is your on premises infra so if you make a connectivity by vpn so they will use encrypted tunnel they will create tunnel here okay and that will be encrypted encrypted okay they are typically deployed to connect two or more trusted private network to one another over an untrusted network typically the public internet and traffic is encrypted while traveling over the untrusted network to prevent uh, like uh, to prevent any other attack okay so this is the uh, very simple scenario about vpn data will be traveling through tunnels and that will be encrypted okay so attacks and hacking is not possible and it will be traveling over untrusted network which is internet so that is why it will encrypt your data or it is using tunnel so your data your communication information should be protected apart from this uh, for example let's see for our abcd trader scenario vpn can enable branches or branch offices to share sensitive information between locations and for example let let's say <coughs> that your office uh, offices on the east coast region of north america need to access your company's private customer data which is stored on servers that are physically located in west coast region so you got uh, east coast here and this is your west, uh, uh, west coast so you have two location now you want to make that data should be available for both the location or from for example this is your east and you want to access data best so for this you can use vpn okay very simple uh, a vpn can connect your east coast offices to your west coast servers allowing your company to securely access your private customer data that is why it is used okay guys very simple thing and uh, let's see now what is vpn gateways so a vpn gateway is a typically virtual network gateway make a note of this it is a virtual network gateway basically azure vpn gateway instances are deployed in dedicated subnet of the virtual network and enable the following connectivity let's see uh, the very first one is connect on premises data centers to virtual network through site to site connection the very first one next one connect individual devices to virtual network through a point to site connection you, you saw here one is site to site and the next one is point to site connection okay guys so here you can see what is mentioned connect on premises data center to virtual network through site to site connection and what about the next one connect individual devices to virtual network through a point to site connection it is a point to site connection and it is using devices next one connect virtual network to other virtual network through a network to network connection you saw three things here we are talking about the very first one on premises to virtual network next one devices to virtual network and the next one is connect virtual network to another virtual network through network to network connection so we have three connectivity here 
Okay, guys. You can see here, for example, we have one VPN gateway here. Okay, this is your VPN gateway. You can see, and you have one uh, range here or network. It is your virtual network one East US, and this side you can see on premises local site. Okay, and it is also having some IP addresses, and you are using VPN gateway. So it 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 has created one tunnel. You can see this tunnel. Okay, and it it, it is having one IP address also. So VPN uh, virtual IP address basically it is. And it is using some sort of encryption algorithm. So this is a very simple scenario about VPN gateway. So this VPN gateway provides you three types of security uh, connectivity. Sorry, not security. Yes, yeah, security is there uh, inside this connection. Okay. So the very first one is site to site. Next one is point to site, and third one is network to network connection. Apart from this. All data transfer is encrypted inside a private tunnel. So this is your private tunnel, okay? And data is encrypted as it crosses the internet. You can deploy only one VPN gateway in each virtual network. So you can see here we have one virtual network one, and we have deployed one a VPN gateway. But you can use one gateway to connect to multiple locations. So you can have one more location this side you can have one more location this side which includes other virtual network or on-premises data centers so you can have multiple on-premises data center this side but you can you you will have to use only one one vpn gateway device very simple guys let me move to the next one the next one is when you deploy a vpn gateway you specify the VPN type either it is policy based or root based so you have to select one of these two so guys let me go back and I will show you something this one I wanted to show so what we have learned so far one is VPN gateway what is VPN gateway and types of VPN okay um, now I'm talking about so these are the types of VPN only two types of VPN one is policy based and the next one is root based VPN that is what mentioned here when you deploy VPN gateway you specify the VPN type either policy based or root based so apart from this the main difference between these two uh, these two type of VPN is how traffic to be encrypted is specified so you should make a different uh, note guys what is the difference between these two type is just simply how data is encrypted very simple in azure both types of vpn gateway use a pre-shared key as the only method of authentication so both both type of vpn like policy based or root based they will be using a pre-shared key okay for authentication both type also rely on internet key exchange that is also known as ike uh, this is internet key exchange in either version 1 or version 2 and internet protocol security ipsec which is also known as okay guys so the same thing you can see here it is ip security okay and internet uh, key exchange Apart from this, internet key exchange is used to set up a security association, uh, which is like an agreement of the encrypt encryption between two endpoints. So you can see everything has certain role. What is the role of IKE? It is used to set up security association. And security association is nothing but it is an agreement between two endpoints. How to encrypt data? Okay, guys next one is this association is then passed to a security shoot uh, which encrypts and decrypts data packets uh, encapsulated in the vpn channel then so we'll see now what is policy based vpn 
this is the first type of uh, VPN okay so guys policy based VPN gateways a specific uh, a specific specify statically the IP address of packet that should be encrypted through each tunnel and this type of device evaluates every packet against those sets of IP addresses to choose the tunnel where the packet is going to be sent through so we can create multiple policies here okay and let's see the next one uh, what is there inside uh, policy based VPN the key features of policy based VPN gateways in Azure include it supports support for IKE version 1 only okay and next one use the static routing where combination of address prefixes from both network control how traffic is encrypted and decrypted through the VPN tunnel and the source and destination of the tunnel network are declared in the policy and don't need to be declared in routing tables apart from this policy based vpns must be used in a specific scenario that require them such as for compatibility with legacy on premises vpn devices so this was all about policy based vpn now let's talk about root based vpn if defining which ip address are behind each tunnel is to uh, circum circum what is this cumbersome cumbersome okay is to cumbersome root based gateways can be used with root based gateways ip security tunnels are uh, modeled as a network interface or virtual tunnel interface ip routing either static or dynamic ip routing or uh, routing protocols decides which one of the uh, which one of these tunnel interface to use when sending each packet and root based tunnel uh, root based vpns are the preferred connection method for on premises devices so if we have on premises devices we should use root based only so specifically we can tell like which interface to be used to uh, communicate with this particular on premises infra okay guys or uh, apart from this it, it can either be like ip ip uh, routing can either be like you know static or dynamic routing protocol we can use for this so this one is much preferable okay Apart from this, they are more resilient to topology changes such as the creation of new subnets. And apart from this, use a root based VPN gateway if you need any of the following type of connectivity. Like if you want to uh, connect connections between virtual networks, point to site connections, multi site connections and coexistence with Azure Express root gate uh, root express root gateways in that condition you should use root based vpn only that is why i am telling it is a more preferable vpn gateway and key features of root based vpn gateways in azure includes it supposed it supports ike version 2 use any to any wildcard traffic selectors uh, can use dynamic routing protocol where routing forwarding table direct traffic to different IP security tunnel in this case the source and destination network are not statically defined as they are in policy based VPNs or even in root based VPNs with static routing instead data packets are encrypted based on network routing table that are created dynamically using routing protocols such as border gateway protocol so guys i'm done with this just wanted to discuss this information and if you feel it is informative and uh, what you have to do is simply you can see on screen and next video i will meet you 
with the next topic in the same which is like uh, next to this uh, virtual, uh, virtual network okay next topic so till then bye bye